men wanted for hazardous journey. Low wages, bitter cold, long hours of complete darkness. Safe return, doubtful. Honor and recognition, an event of success. While the story of Ernest Shackleton's newspaper advertisement is perhaps a bit apocryphal, it nonetheless summarizes the ordeal his crew members knew they were signing up for. Under the best of circumstances, the 1914 Imperial Transantarctic Expedition would be grueling. Under the worst of circumstances, it would be fatal. Despite such terrible prospects, Shackleton's office was flooded with applications. Over 5,000 men put their names forward to embark on the perilous journey willingly subjecting themselves to the low wages, bitter cold, and long hours of complete darkness inherent to this hazardous endeavor. The question is, why would anyone willingly subject themselves to such peril? Perhaps the answer lies in the promised honor and recognition and event of success. Perhaps it lies in the near primal intuition that involuntarily treading the path through hell, we emerge from our journey at the gates of glory. For Shackleton's men, the path through hell would not be a short one. The attempt to cross the South Pole quickly became a blizzard of nightmare. The main expedition ship, the Endurance, was crushed by pack ice, and the entirety of the crew was stranded. They were forced to survive on the ever-shifting ice fields, waiting 497 days before finally setting foot on solid ground again. Attaining solid ground, however, was not the end of the endeavor. Their next step was the most perilous, sailing a lifeboat over 800 miles to the nearest inhabited island, braving hurricane force winds and waves in the merciless ferocity of the Antarctic winter. Now here's the most remarkable part. Despite the incredible odds and harrowing conditions, not a single soul was lost. The entirety of the expedition's 28 men made it back to England alive. Many have marveled at this miraculous endeavor and wondered how these men escaped with their lives. Personally, I think a large part of it comes down to this. These 28 men overcame the most perilous of obstacles precisely because they were the type of men who were willing to sign up for something awful. They knew the Transantarctic Expedition would be trying, demanding, and even grueling at times. But yet, they still applied and even outcompeted other men for the opportunity to be a part of something arduous. Of course, they had no way of knowing just how miserable things would get. But when things did go awfully wrong, they were the only type of men who could handle that pressure. The same could not be said for the naively overconfident crew of the Terra Nova expedition four years earlier, in which all 65 members succumbed to the adversities of the Antarctic. The takeaway from this, and the question we can ask ourselves is, am I the type of person who would willingly sign up for discomfort? Am I willing to subject myself to hardship in the hopes of achieving something worthwhile? For us, this might not look like a journey to the Antarctic. Instead, it might look like a trip to the gym, the disciplined study of a language, or the quest to sobriety. Regardless of our specific endeavors, one thing is certain. Just like the crew of the Endurance, it is only by being individuals who willingly subject ourselves to discomfort that we manage to overcome the great and unexpected tribulations of life. If we think we can avoid hardship by never subjecting ourselves to anything difficult, we shouldn't fool ourselves. Immediately after the Shackleton expedition set out, World War I erupted in Europe. Men who would have given anything to avoid the Antarctic were nonetheless subjected to a different set of tribulations. Discomfort always has a way of finding us. So, what is your hazardous journey? What is the goal for which your soul will tolerate low wages, bitter cold, and long hours of complete darkness? The legend of Shackleton is indeed the story of any journey or mission in life that's truly worth embarking on and sacrificing for. Safe return doubtful, honor and recognition, an event of success.